Do you have any tricks for reducing gas fees when transacting on Ethereum? Yes, I totally recommend checking out a gas tracker is called Ethereum price. This is my favorite way of tracking Ethereum gas prices because not only does it look at it historically, but if you scroll down a little bit, it shows you the gas price by time of day. The best time to do transactions on Ethereum is weekend evenings. When you do that, the gas price denominated in Guay is at its minimum. So when you think about gas prices, you can think about three factors. The first is how expensive is that particular function on that smart contract to run? And that's gonna be true kind of any day of the week, right? The, the different contracts are more gassy or less gassy based on how tightly they're written and their, their, their feature completeness. The more features they have, the gassier it is. The more tightly they're written, the less gassy it is. But that kind of is what it is. Real quick, unlike Ethereum, there is no gas limit on expressing your gratitude. So go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you. Second factor is going to be, uh, what is the price of each gas unit denominating something called guay? A guay is one billionth of an ETH. So if ETH right now is about $1,000, one guay is one millionth of a dollar or one ten thousandth of a penny. It's very tiny. But usually the number of gas units you'd be paying would be something like, you know, say a quarter million or something for a single transaction. The third factor, of course, is how expensive is the native currency. So that will tell you, for example, denominated in something like dollars, what the price is of doing one of those transactions because it's going to be, okay, you have dollars, you need to turn that into a native currency, which let's say is $1,000 about right now for Ethereum. How much GUI is it going to take up? Call it probably about a quarter million is reasonable for a lot of these NFTs that have more features to them. So that'd be like 250,000 times, that'd be the, the number of gas units used, uh, times the price per gas denominated in GUI, which uh, at its minimum is like 20 and can rise into the hundreds when the network's getting very, very busy. And that's the reason why if you want to have a transaction that is as cheap as you can make it, the biggest lever you can pull is going to be when that GUI is cheapest, because that will be a swing between like 20 and 50 so you can get it down by like a factor of th uh, two or three and the the easiest way to do that is to do it in the off hours north american time and on the weekends and when you combine those two that's when you usually get the cheapest prices and that shows up consistently when you take a look at that chart the sunday morning sunday nights saturday morning saturday nights that's going to be when you have the palest parts of that chart uh, and that's because that's when the, the quay price of gas is consistently the cheapest as always, if you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.